going to today I'm gonna do a little bit of summary about the book called The Magic of the Lost Temple by Sudhamurti. Now, let me tell who is Sudhamurti. Sudhamurti is a famous uh, author, like uh, he's a famous author who wrote uh, tons of books uh, and uh, I have two books copies with, which is The Man Who Came From The Egg and The Magic of the Lost Temple. So the book named The Magic of the Lost Temple like uh, gives you the idea of what living in a village like feels like so like uh, i'll tell you a story which is nuni a girl named nuni nuni actually uh, nuni lives in bangalore came to her grandma's village during her summer vacations and over there she learns to cycle uh, ride a bike she learns what like what uh, how do uh, weddings happen in a village like that and she find everything different from the cities in Bangalore and she like goes to a, adventures they go to they go they go for a picnic and like that uh, like like that she learns how to live in a village and that uh, one day suddenly her grandmother, who she calls Aji, Aji, and her grandfather, who she calls Aja, and Aji tells tells her a a story about a, a stepwell, a king, a prince like that, and she gets really uh, she wants to learn. She wants to see a stepwell. So she was like going through the forest one day with her friends. She saw like a bit of a deep hole, and and uh, they called like they called people to dig that hole. And Nuni was the founder of the magic of the lost temple. Means the temple was built long time ago, and uh, her grandmother believed that they were like just stories. And uh, it was real, and Nuni was the founder of the magic of the lost temp the lost temple, like that. That's true. And this book is rarely, it's very rarely available on Amazon. I think all of its copies were sold lately. And you have, uh, if you just buy it now, only you will get this book. And if, if you read this book, it's actually wonderful and you should actually try this book out. Thank you. Okay, now I told you what is the story of this book. Now, let me tell what I think of this book. Okay, whom do I recommend this book? Okay, I read this book, okay, and I felt like I should actually... The people who live in cities, like in Bengaluru, Kochi, like that, live in cities, should actually see what this world of Noni shows like. Because they, they, the world shows imagination. If you want to like explore this book, you need to have imagination. Like when they say they went at a picnic and they saw like they went to a waterfall, they bathed there. Like her friends, she was she was lost in the river, her friends catch her. You need actually imagination how to think like how to think like a Sudha Murti. How to how to like imagine your world. So, I recommend this book for imaginators and people who live in cities uh, because they actually will know how 
living in villages actually really is? Is it fun or is it like, is it so exhausting or is it so, uh, is it so boring? You should actually know how it feels. So that's all I have to say. So bye.